Make sure you're just a dry fire that bad boy. my string uh, and this morning I pulled back on a doe I pulled it back and my peep was completely blocked because oh, my worst my D loop was twisted that's why I have the uh, I got the sped peep sight still <laughs> <laughs> I I still run a rubber band because it never twists all right he had an eventful morning so Got to see some deer at least, so we'll throw that in right now. We got a good four hour sit ahead of us here and hopefully we see something to make this worth it because it's getting warm out real quick we're on the the final day of this cold front we had it was you know cold front for five ish days this morning was the coldest day out of them all but now the temps are rising again and you know the rest of the rest of the week it's going to be back in the 70s so this is our final chance to capitalize on the cold front and hopefully we can make it happen, but enough talking. Let's get out to the stand. All right. One kids stay in shape. Because if you don't stay in shape, you end up ruining hunts. So <clears throat> we tried to sneak in on this little honey hole spot, like right around a swamp. And uh, we kicked up essentially the two target bucks out here trying to get set up and then I couldn't get up the tree to put the tree stand up so we decided all right we kicked up our two target box anyway let's just back out circle around and we're we're taking a shot on where we think the one might be headed um, if he if he's following the wind following the south wind which it looked like he was doing on the camera <clears throat> and he keeps going that way like we spooked him enough we should be setting up on his food source for the evening if uh, if he decides to show up or not. At this point, I just, you know, it's a lot, like tonight, it's pretty much a lost cause because I screwed everything up. So <clears throat> hopefully we can salvage this evening and maybe see some deer, get on some different deer. Um, you never really know what's gonna happen now. So if we would have stopped, you know, 25 30 yards short of where we did and set up maybe we would have uh, been better off but we decided to push in a little bit and uh it bit us so worst case scenario for uh <laughs> for early season like this but it is what it is and let's go try to make the best of it
top of the hill. Which way is it going? Away, over the hill. I think. Yep. It's got a I just saw the. You couldn't get them on video. I wasn't even gonna try. I just seen it when they were all jumping through an opening. I could see the one antlers glistle, glisten.
is very special. All right, now the real work begins. What a day, man. Oh. When I tell you I am not in hunting shape, holy crap, it's bad this year. You know, I am not, you know, I didn't do any hanging hunts at all last year. Last year it was all preset stands and, you know, sitting in box blinds. It was comfortable, don't get me wrong. I had a very good, like, year last year being comfortable, but... Uh, taking that year off and not hanging stands and hanging out of trees and holding on for dear life when you're climbing and oof, that uh you don't do that for a year and it comes back with a vengeance every muscle in my arms from gripping the backside of trees are just like cramping up today <laughs> but uh man what could have been yesterday if one we would have just stopped a couple yards short from where we actually did or two you know something that we need to start doing on that property in particular is glassing just like you would you know out west elk hunting something like that like if we would have stopped on a hill and before we decided to move in on that swamp just glassed it maybe we would have saw them i mean that's you know maybe maybe anything and everything is the right answer in hindsight you know but when you don't think they're in there and you just want to get in there and get in get in a tree <sighs> but you know, it is what it is. We still saw deer, still saw plenty of deer when we were in the tree uh, on the other property. And you never know what can happen when you make a move like that. But um, hunting season is in full swing. So it's time to start hitting the woods more and more and more. And as we get into October here, uh, anytime you see any weather that's colder than the rest, get out and go hunting and, and do what you can. Try to find some deer. But this is where I leave you guys. I got a ton of work to do today and cleaning up and organizing and get the hunting clothes all cleaned up and all the footage edited out. And we got a lot of work to do, so let's get after it. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you in the woods.